Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I wanted to film this very colorful makeup for you. And uh, it got very crazy and out of hand, but I think I like the outcome. So if you would like to know how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. So very important, I wanted to use my uh, Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot just because this is going to help the bright colors pop. I'm setting that with a little bit of powder. And for this look, I am using the Morphe 35B Color Glam Palette. And I am first taking this coral eyeshadow on a fluffy blending brush. And I am taking that on the high crease of my eyelid. Then I'm taking this darker coral eyeshadow and an orange eyeshadow and I'm going to take that on a pencil brush and slightly drag it right below that first coral eyeshadow since we are creating a cut crease with these peachy coral shades. Then taking another clean blending brush, I am just sweeping that across the eye to smooth out what we just applied. I'm going back in with that same pencil brush and the darker coral eyeshadow and pretty much I'm just repeating the same steps just to achieve a gradient effect. So once I'm happy with the results, I'm going to cut the crease using the same MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and this little concealer brush. So because I have a hooded lid, I am cutting the crease above my actual crease of the eye. Just so that when my eyes are open, you can still see it. And then I am just going to go ahead and apply it all over the rest of the lid. Then taking this blue eyeshadow and a little bit of a regular white eyeshadow just so that it's not too dark. I'm just mixing those together and applying it right on top of that base. Quickly going back with that pencil brush and applying more coral eyeshadow. Then I'm taking the Morphe 35O palette or you could just use a regular like warm tone brown eyeshadow on an eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to slightly cut the crease and just to make that darker basically and once I'm done I'm going to flip flip flick the brush upwards to blend with the rest of the eye so I went ahead and finished up the rest of the base eyebrows and eyelashes and for the bottom lash line I'm taking this green eyeshadow on a flat shader brush and just applying that all over the lower lash line and then on that same pencil brush I am taking another green eyeshadow it's pretty shimmery I'm just dragging it right below that then taking star crushed minerals glitter in enchanted forest I am taking ELF's glitter glue on the same concealer brush and first applying some of the glue under the eye and then going back in with the glitter on the same brush. So at first I wanted to make this look a little bit normal and then you know things got out of hand and I wanted to do glitter tears and so this is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> So taking NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm going to apply some on the inner corner to prepare it for a yellow eyeshadow. So I'm mixing these two. And applying that on the inner corner with a small precision brush. Mm -hmm. 
then applying Puppy from ColourPop on the waterline. Taking the same NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and a smaller brush, which I will change to in a second, I'm going to do these three little cute dots right below my inner brow. And then um, filling them in with yellow eyeshadow. Then taking NYX's color mascara, and I forgot the shade, but it, I'll link it down below. I'm just going to messily just smudge that right on the glitter tear and a little bit on the inner brow as well. <laughs> just to tint the eyebrows a little bit. I'm doing the same three little dots on the outer corner, kind of, right below my eyeliner with the same puppy eyeliner. Then for the face, I'm taking NYX's highlighting contour palette and this shade right here, <laughs> just to carve out my cheekbones. And a little bit of nose contouring going on. Then taking NYX's blush in cinnamon, I'm going to slightly apply some to my cheeks and then using this highlighter from the same palette on my cheekbones. A little bit on the cupid's bow and the chin. I'm taking this lipstick by NYX and just dabbing it on my lips. So I went ahead and applied blue on my eyebrows just because I thought that there was, you know, not enough blue in this look. So I'm just applying a little bit of that same blue eyeshadow at the very tip of my eyebrow. And that is it for this weird colorful spring makeup look. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you get to recreate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more upcoming videos. And of course, thank you for watching. Bye guys!